Hi and welcome to CGBoomer.com. This is Hans Erickson and I'd like to welcome you to day 18 of my work in progress in making my short film which will eventually end up uh, making my logo and web header. Uh, today is part 6 of making my laptop and uh, today I'm going to work on uh, let's start with a screen first. Um, what I'm going to do is select this portion right here and I'm going to go over to my material section and I am going to add a new material slot and I'm going to name this material slot um, well I'm going to make it single user and then rename it as S-C-R-E-E-N, screen. And uh, just to add a little difference to it so I can see it, this is not going to be the final end result. I'm just going to pop it all the way over to straight white. And I'm going to then go into edit mode and making sure that I'm in face, I'm going to select that uh, middle part here go to screen and assign and you can see immediately the difference that I have uh, let's kind of zoom in and let's start adding a couple more uh, faces here let's go this way one and screen assign and let's tab into object you can see I need to at least go one more uh, face so let's select well let me see did I select the wrong thing there or is that it uh, I got the wrong thing let me tab out of that let me get right in here and I'm gonna grab this face right there screen assign I'm gonna go into object view and you can see I'm right at the edge of the screen there so I am good with that I need to come over and do the same thing over here tab into edit mode I'm gonna grab this one and zoom way in grab that one face right there screen select whoops no screen assign there we go and tab back into object mode and I've got that screen selected I need to do the same thing with the bottom so I'll go into edit mode and I'm going to say I'm going to need this one and probably exactly the same thing one face right there uh, making sure I'm in screen assign let me tab in and that looks good go up to the top and I'm going to tab over whoops tab into edit mode grab that face zoom way in it's a little hard to see with that dark area there but I seem to have it go to screen assign tab back into object and that's what I want now all I gotta do is get these four corners and seeing that I've got the side set up there this will be pretty easy I'll select that this and this and that little corner up there screen assign over to the next corner zoom in so I can see hit these four faces screen and assign okay excuse me I had a little interruption from my grandson grandsons are great they are the best he watches me work on blender and he's seven years old and he wants to do exactly what grandpa does all right uh, 
let me select that one and again these four vertices or faces there screen assign and now we just have one more corner over here and zoom in a little bit so I can see real well hit this this well let me see there I got that face that little tiny corner in this right here screen assign and I've got that all assigned now now the one thing that I want to do here is I want to add a texture to this and this is going to be a little tricky I'm going to just open up another instance of Blender I'm going to click that then I'm going to go alt print screen I'm going to open up GIMP I'm going to open up GIMP and then I am going to uh, while GIMP is open I'm going to hit control V and now I have a picture right here of that screen I'm going to go file save as uh, go to my CG boomer work in progress uh, zoom down to day 19 in my video files textures and I'm going to call this laptop s-c-r-e-e-n dot j-p-g and I'm going to save it and save I can now get out of GIMP I can close this all together uh, seeing I have a material uh, the next thing I'm going to do is in this mode here I'm going to hit A well let me see let me go into object mode first hold on Okay, uh, now that I've done that, I can go over, oh, uh, go to 3, and I want to make sure that I'm at 90 degrees on this, uh, so I am going to come up here and click minus 90, I want it straight up and down, I'm going to go into front view, go to object or edit view hit A to deselect everything making sure I am on screen hit select and I want to go U unwrap project from view bounds go over to my slot here I'm going to deselect this texture here I'm going to add a new texture here. I'm going to make it image or movie. I'm going to open up in textures my screenshot. Uh, come down here. I'm going to go repeat and put it on clip instead. I'm going to select it to UV and leave everything else the way it is except I'm going to add one more thing and where it says emit I'm going to hit emit and you can see how that brightened that up that is though it's actually emitting light so we're going to click back into object mode and let's just see how that looks by hitting F12 and you can see it looks as though I have got um, Blender open up in my uh, right in my uh, screen there uh, so let me come back over to here and I'm going to set its rotation again to minus 110 because that's what it is when it's fully open and the reason it had to be straight up and down is if I had 
done project from view bounds it would have projected it on as a uh, in a in a tilted manner and that definitely is not what we want so now let's work on the touchpad and uh, these mouse buttons right here okay uh, the material I think I'm going to work with is going to be the chrome material and I sometimes collect uh, materials that I find from other sites and other models and whatever and I have a few set up in a file so I am going to go file I'm going to append and on my materials library I'm just going to come up to materials and I'm going to choose rough chrome and link and then I'm going to go to mouse keys and I am going to change it to rough chrome and I'll change the names around here in a second uh, let me do this let me go back up to mouse keys I'm going to completely delete that out of the texture slot I'm going to go file save file open recent and laptop now if I go in here you won't see mouse keys anymore what you'll see is nothing so I may have to re-import that so let's go ahead uh, let's go append rough chrome link append uh, I'm going to grab this and I'm going to call this M-O-U-S key K-E-Y-S mouse keys alright let's just take a look and see how that looks uh, now if you want to know how that's set up all the setups are right here uh, you can kind of take a look at it it also has these two texture slots in here which is the clouds set to these levels here and with the normal values set here uh, different on both and I believe it also has different X and Y and Z coordinates and so let's uh, take a look and see how that mapped out and that's pretty much what I wanted um, okay I am rendered to 100% so I'm going to live with that and I think the difference between the two here is I'm going to go ahead back with the chrome but I'm going to take the roughness out and the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to come back over to my texture slot I'm going to grab this take the touchpad and I am going to grab the mouse keys I'm going to make it single user I'm going to type TOU touch whoops T O U C H P A D touchpad and the reason it's saying touchpad 001 is I do have one in there that is touchpad so if I come over to touchpad and I shift X that'll take that one out and if I go to touchpad 001 go file save and then file open recent here now if I look you'll see touchpad is completely gone and all I have to do is come in here and take that 001 that uh, shift uh, X here removes it from the data block so it no longer exists then all I have to do is come over to here you can see that this texture is used in two different texture slots but all I have to do is uncheck them and that should be 
kind of a chrome looking. Let's go over here and I think it's got a little bit of a mirror to it. Oh, that reflectivity might be up a little high, but we can adjust that uh, later. Let me go ahead and hit zero. I'm going to go F12. And that reflectivity is just a little bit up too high on that. So let's come over to the mirror and I'm going to turn that reflectivity down quite a bit. I do want some reflection, not tremendous. Uh, let's try it right there. Let's hit F12 again. Okay, much, much better. Let's go ahead and drop it down to even, let's say, 0.1. F12 again. Okay, just a hint, and I'm liking that better. Let's run up, and the intensity is about what I want. And I think that'll work. Let me out of here. Let me run up to body, touch pad, and let me go to the mouse keys here real quick. And let's run the roughness up just a skosh and F12. You know with that roughness enabled there, I think I can even come in here and take out those two textures. Let me, because I'm getting too much pop there. Uh, let me hit F12. And I think I'm going to go with that. Um, a lot of this will change as we set up our materials or as we set up different lights, but I think I'm going to fly with exactly what I have. I know this is uh, a rather short um, uh, video, but I'm going to call this done for now. Um, I guess I could put some holes in here, uh, but quite frankly this is going to be open for such a short time when it's uh, when I'm animating, it's going to open up long enough to pop a CD in there and close it. Uh, again, I don't want to overload the details on this. Uh, the one thing I do want to do is I want to check and see if there's any other edge loops that I think I could delete. And let me tab into it. Let me see. Hit all for everything. And I think. I think so I've got those sit over here. I'm not exactly sure why I have all these edge loops in over here. Um, let me go file, save. I'm going to try and decrease the vertex count here just a little bit. Uh, let me hit Alt. Control, whoops. No, Alt. Ah, get into edge mode. Duh. And let's select that edge loop. And X edge loop. Let me hit this edge loop here. Zoom in. Yeah, actually, I don't know why I have all those edge loops in there. X edge loops. Uh, select this edge loop. 
x edge loops I'll get into orthographic view whoa jumped way in there now and I think let me uh, everything still looks good let me zoom way out here yeah let me get into here zoom down select everything so I can see it and let's take out a couple of these edge loops here X edge loop and alt X edge loop and let's leave the rest there let me get over to here these I know I definitely gonna need so I think that pretty well cleaned up what I want I need to leave the rest of these in here um, all right I think I'm I think I'm okay on this now make sure I didn't lose any of my definition uh, let me go into solid view sometimes it's a little easier to see and I think I'm good I am going to leave it all at this I'm going to go ahead and hit alt G and that'll close my CD case there and go back into textured mode and I think I'm good to go I'm gonna leave it at that um, next time I'm going to be working I'm going to have to make up my mind whether I'm going to work on my transformation or if I'm going to go ahead and work on my character or a table I think I'll probably work on a table get a table set up so that I can set my uh, radio and uh, and uh, my uh, this on the table and start working on my transformation then in the meantime I have been working on my little man and uh, my uh, scene so until then it will probably be a couple days before I'm ready to share another video but I just wanted to get this one done and I can see that I've got no I'm still good um, and uh, probably start setting up my scene so that we can really get going on things so again I want to thank you for tuning in uh, this again is Hans Erickson at cgboomer.com and this uh, model will be available for download on my site and again I want to thank you for watching and have a great day and happy blending